So Tulsi Gabbard has come out against impeaching Donald Trump. Hmm. So I'm trying to process this. Um, as an independent voter myself, I am for impeachment. Um, I'm for the Constitution, if the Constitution says we should. I think we should. And Tulsi talks an awful lot about the Constitution. So, I don't know why she's not for the, the Constitution and impeachment here. Uh, she says we're all, like, we're divided. She said this is just going to be a very divisive process. We're already a divided nation. We don't need more division. Well, we need to find out what the facts are, okay? That's all this impeachment process is. There's nothing wrong with finding out what the facts are. Did the president obstruct justice? Did he have intent? Um, did he commit treason on that phone call to uh, one of Ukraine's diplomats? You know, we're in a discovery process. The impeachment process is just a discovery process of the facts and arguing the facts. So I don't know why Tulsi Gabbard would be so against it. Like, I trust her true north. Um, I, I just don't see why she would take this position and go against her own party here. And listen, I, I know she's an independent thinker. I know she has her own true north. I, 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 most of the time, I'm right on board with her 80, 90% of the time. And this is the 10 to 20% of the time where I'm not. Um, she needs to support the Constitution. She needs uh, to support this process. And yeah, we're divided. We're painfully divided. We're maxed out in that area. So finding the truth, it's a very good time to find the truth right now. So I just don't understand why she would take a stand against this process that is very, it, 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 to me, it's a very normal thing to do. It's just a protocol in democracy. There's corruption, there's potential treason, there's obstruction. You investigate it, you vet it, you, you run the process. And if there's nothing at the end of it, there's nothing at the end of it, okay? There's no big deal letting democracy play out here. We're already divided. We're, you're on that side, I'm on that side. Um, because it's, it's basically you're either against Trump or you're for Trump. So, I just don't understand why she's doing this. It feels political, like I think she's trying to appeal to right-wingers in some... I don't know, in some tactic. Because... I, I honestly think she's going against her better instincts, which are instincts that follow the Constitution and the rule of law. So, I just think this is out of Tulsi's wheelhouse. I know she's a wild card. I know she doesn't follow uh, uh, traditional norms of the political process or political identity. So, maybe this is Tulsi's wheelhouse. To just say, you know, I'm following my political instincts, no matter where they go, and she's going with it. But like I said, her political instincts are going against the Constitution, which she purports to uh, overtly support and, and overtly care about, as she should, as a sitting U.S. Congresswoman. So, that doesn't add up to me. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Uh, how someone who could be so for the Constitution and its process, uh, its processes that are embedded in it, just just come out against it. <laughs> I, see, we're, we're in a political season here. We're in a very uh, toxic election uh, cycle right now. So I don't think she's making her best decisions. I think she's making a political decision here um, in not following her true north. I don't know. I'm not getting it. What are you guys getting? <sighs> to be honest, I just, I'm trying to flesh this out, and I'm, and I'm confused. I'm really kind of confused. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, leave me a comment down below. 
What do you think about this? You're an independent. You're a Republican. You're a Democrat. Um, I want to hear all sides. Because as an independent, um, I believe she's taking the wrong stance. And she needs to support the Constitution and the impeachment process embedded within it. So, like I said, let me know your thoughts. I'll meet you down in the comments.